Hey guys, Cousin Freli here. In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can connect your G Suite account with your hosting using the cPanel. Now, recently I have transferred one of my clients' website from Wix to WordPress, and on the Wix CMS, he have been using the G Suite. And after the migration, the G Suite have stopped working. So I figured it out that we need to insert the MX records of Google into our domain and then we'll have to add some SPF records and we'll have to look into some email routing thing in order for it to work. So if you want to learn that how you can do all of these things so that you can connect the G Suite properly with your hosting account, then you are welcome here. Let's get started. So first thing that you will have to do is to log into your hosting account. In my case, I'm using the Hostgator. So here, what you will have to do is to click on Launch cPanel here. And once you will click on this Launch cPanel, the cPanel will start loading there. And once it will get loaded, what you will have to do is to scroll down to the Domains part where you will see the domains. From there, you will have to click on this Zone Editor. So once you will click on the zone editor, you will have to choose the domain where you want to connect the G Suite account. So in my case, I want to connect it with the leadadvisor.ca. So I'll click on manage there. And from here, I want to filter these results as MX record. And now here you can see we don't have anything related to Google there. So what I want to do is to add those add the google records there so for that what i want to do is to first of all click on this edit there and in this what i want to do is to set the priority as one and i want the destination to be aspmx dot l dot google dot com and then i'll click on save record and the same way I'll add a new record. The type will be MX record and the valid zone name will be the domain name and then the priority will be 5 and this time the destination will be alt1.aspmx.l.google.com I'll save record and now I want to add one more record here so I'll click on this add record once again I'll choose leadadvisor.ca from there as a legal zone and then from the type I'll choose mx the priority once again will be 5 and the destination this time will go to al2 dot the same thing i want to add one more record there so i'll click on add record this time the valid zone will be leadadvisor.ca and the type will be mx priority will be 10 and this time it will be ALT3 so I'll save the record now once again I'll add the record and then I will change this to MX priority will be 10 and this time it will be ALT4 and then the zone will be leadadvisor.ca I'll save this record and now these are all the MX records that you require there so make sure you have all these Google records there after that what you will have to do is to go back to your cPanel and then this time you will have to look into email routing so in the email routing, 
make sure you choose the relevant domain in my case this is fleetadvisor.ca this should be uh, set it up as automatically detect configuration remote change it manually to remote mail exchanger and then click on change there after that what you will have to do is to go back and then once again you will have to go to zone editor and in the zone editor you will have to click on this manage and this time you can see we don't have any of the SPF records here and we need to add some SPF records there for that what we'll have to do is to choose this email deliverability and the email deliverability you will have to choose the domain so I'll choose leadadvisor.ca and here scroll down to SPF and here you can see we don't have any value for the Google so we need to add SPF record for the Google and in order to do that what you will have to do is to click on this customize there and then what you will have to do is to go down there to additional setting and include list include and there you will have to type underscore dot spf dot google dot com underscore dot spf dot google dot com here you can review this after that what you will have to do is to click on this install a customized spf record and once you will do that you should be able to view that here but for some reason it is not showing us there but it is showing us there so I'll once again install this and now you can see this the SPF record is showing there so this is the all things that you will have to do in order to connect the G Suite and in order to add the MX record and SPF record for G Suite now in order to confirm that you have added them accurately what you can do is to click on this zone editor and then choose the relevant domain click on this manage button here and here you will be able to locate that the SPF record that we have added are showing there so now after this thing your G Suite should be working accurately now if you have learned something new from this video consider subscribing to my youtube channel and make sure you hit the bell icon so that you will never miss an update from me thank you very much i'll see you in the next video